In this video, I will show you how to handle system back gesture in your Flutter app using PopScope widget class. So let me give you an example of when you have to handle system back gesture. For example, in my emulator, you can see that I have an elevated button. When I click on the elevated button, I will be navigated to a new screen. Now when I click on the elevated button on the new screen, it pops out an alert dialog asking for confirmation. If I click on no, I will stay on the new page. But if I click on yes, I will navigate back to the first screen as shown. However, in Android device, there is a system back button outside from the app itself at the bottom left. Now let's navigate to a new page. And when I click on the system back button on bottom left, it skip the alert dialog and navigate back without user confirming. Sometimes if user are submitting form or transaction, killing the state without notifying user could create bad user experience. So in this video, I will show you how to handle system back gesture. Firstly, Look for the button that requires user confirmation, which in my case is the elevated button in the second page. Now wrap the elevated button with pop scope widget. Then set the can pop parameter to false. This boolean parameter is true by default. When we set it to false, it will disable the system back gesture. Let's try it out in the emulator. Now we are in the second page and you can see that when I click on the bottom left button, it don't navigate back to the first screen because we set can pop boolean to false. Now what happens if you doesn't want the system button to be disabled, instead you wanted it to show the alert dialog same as the elevated button. To do this, you have to provide function to the second parameter provided by PopScope class, which is on pop invoke. So this function returns a did pop boolean. So firstly, we check if did pop is true, just return. If not, we will execute the alert dialog function. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So firstly, when I click on the elevator button, it shows the alert dialog as expected. Now when I click on the bottom left back button, it shows the alert dialog as well. Now with this feature, you can make sure that users are notified before they leave the screen. In conclusion, this is how you handle system back navigation in your Flutter app using PopScope class. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.